quick lesson now on using the advanced motion lab. I'm going to make a gunfire. Very simple gunfire. I use the same principle on everything I do. I have it in my little library up here, just two spheres, just for quick access. As you can see, it's an elongating sphere and a small sphere. I'm going to put it right up here in the nose of my little phantom jet. I'm going to get rid of the movement. I'm going to ungroup it. Oh, maybe I should group this. Group the fuselage. I'm, I'm just selected everything and I'm going to press shift and I'm going to select this large group and then I just unselected it by, by using the shift key. I'm going to, I press the link button on all these other objects and I'm going to group, uh, link it to this group right here. Look, I'm going to move the group and everything goes along with it. I don't have to group a huge number of objects together because that keeps me from selecting them as individuals. Alright, next thing I'm going to do change family groups just to make it easier for me to see things. Change a view. These little buttons down here normally you can't see them, they're, they're invisible, but when you scroll your mouse over to the right side you can zoom in and out and there is a little hand to change uh, your position right here when you're in any kind of side view. Just going to move this little big flame to the nose of my little jet and then I'm going to link it. It's very very important that you do it in this order, in this sequence of events, otherwise you're going to screw up the animation later on. I'm going to link it to the jet. Now it's all moving around, okay? Just going to center it. Oops. center to 20. Zoom out. Alright, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a keyframe at time zero right here. The little cursor thing is right here at time zero. Add a keyframe, advance forward to the very end of it to the one second mark, click attributes, and I'm going to raise it just a little bit. I'm going to change the height of the center of mass of the group from 20 to 20.1. I don't know if you can see on your small screen on YouTube, but I just raised just a tiny bit and I want to add another keyframe. I'm going to go over next next to this little key button and I'm going to go into the uh, advanced motion lab. It opens up this little window. I'm going to change the position. There's all sorts of little designs up here. This corner right here is at time zero and at position zero. Uh, along the x-axis here is time and on here is the y-axis. The, the, the y-axis is your next keyframe, your, your last keyframe position. This little window right here is a bit too small to see the movement of the, of the uh, aircraft. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select this uh, middle one, this little sine wave, this little camel hump. And what it's going to do is gonna, it's, it's going to change the position. Rotation is still a straight line nothing else changed in in my aircraft except its position and I want to make it bob. I changed it from a straight line to this little sine wave. It's gonna it's gonna do a gradual curve and at the very middle part of the animation it's gonna jump to, to the end of where I put it. It's gonna jump up to 20.1 in a gradual curve and it's gonna fall right back down right here. Exit the lab press play. You can just barely see it bob up and down and that's what I like to have in my aircraft. As you can see everything moved along with it. Switch to the camera view. You can barely tell there's movement but at Civ scale there's a little winking of the pixels. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the gunfire flame. I'm going to add a keyframe. I'm going to advance to the very end of it and I'm going to shrink it. This is going to be a size and a position modification. I'm going to change the size to all zeros so it almost disappears. Make sure I add a keyframe. Advance back. You can see it gradually shrink to the very end of the timeline, to the one second timeline. The aircraft is bobbing up and down. The gun flash 
just shrank from maximum to minimum size. I'm going to go to the advanced motion labs. I've still se I've still selected the the gun flash. Advanced motion lab, open it. I'm going to change the position, not to this single silently this this camel hump, but to this kind of mutant bactrian thing. It's going to have three humps. I'm going to change the, the position to this to these three hump. It's going to go from maximum down here to minimum. Max, min, max, min, max. And I'm going to change the scale as well as position because it moves back and forth. Rotation, shear, and origin, leave alone, do not touch. Change the scale, change the position. Turn back. Rewind back to frame zero. Press play, see what happens. Gun flash grows and shrinks and you can do this for everything everything you can do this for you can change lights you can change brightness you can change textures it's a um, very versatile tool I'm now going to animate this to 40 just for kicks and I'm going to make this into an AVI Render is finished, and as you can see, there's a very simple but effective uh, gunfire coming from the nose of the aircraft.